is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Zamba, Jiu-Jitsu, striking. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Nermago. Look at him drive his chin into his whole body with that body kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got full on, bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong, they are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. So just over 20 total strikes. And now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Wow. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Huge block there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Nice kick. That punch is true. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Straight punch lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. See if he can finish. Just misses there with the left. Blocks the shot. Not there. Can't take many of those. You better check. The right hook to the body. Looking for that left hand, just missed. 
45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Nermago Meta. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Nice. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Gubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmago Medov's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that fifth. Big kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautiful strike. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Beautiful body kick. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Nice defense there. Huge block. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... Oh. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Good punch, land. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Both fighters throwing heat now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Nermago Medov. Straight right, he misses. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Good jab. The next with a right. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, a 
another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Big body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nermako Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Nermako Medov. Oh, nice. He blocks the punch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Final seconds here. Good punch. Telegraph that spinning back fist. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. My next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level And he continues to work the body here. Straight right hand counter. Magomedov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Just missed with the left oh. there. Oh! Just unable to quite find that range. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice body kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice. Nice. Big punch land. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. He's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. over the top. Nermago Medov gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Powerful leg kick land. That's a pretty good right hand by your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. It won't take many of those. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there and Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament. Oh! Oh! Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. 
Punch is blocked. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it in his fourth blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. The highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. The highlights, you know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there.